taking so long? Something could really be wrong. He's so defenseless. Any little thing could hurt him. I really... I really need you to stop talking like that, okay? Well, please help me think of something else. All right. Okay. Uh, let's play a word association game. Cool? Uh, here, uh, I'll start. Fashion. Bubbles. Baseball. No. Okay. Uh, forget that. Hey, what's the name of our favorite TV show? Todos Los Niños. Todos Los Niños. I'm glad you brought that up. Could you have a seat, ma'am, please? Todos Los Niños. Funny story. I was uh, checking out at the supermarket. I was online there, and I saw one of those uh, soap opera magazines. Actually, it was a telenovela magazine. And I see this story. They're telling me that, that there's going to be a brand new character introduced. She's this hot, fiery, smoking, gorgeous, chocolate blondish sort of filthy blonde hair and oh she's got this gorgeous new little handsome baby boy too that's the other character and you know what her character's name is amaranta and her son's name is trevor rio you read the magazine <laughs> that's uh that's a shocker well anyway the one that i was reading it says that she's not going to have this uh, you know sort of typical storylines that they have on these soap operas no not like you know the you know gun in her face or the getting her heart broken at the altar no evil twin showing up or whatever none of that crud no in this story in this story this is a very special story she's going to have happiness nothing but happiness in fact every single episode ends with a big fat smile <laughs> it's true Dr. Martin? Yeah. It's not him. How do you know? You, you didn't even look at him yet. It's not him. You don't know how this man operates, Marissa. I do. Look, I don't want to hear it. He's going to go off on one of his famous benders. He's going to get wasted, and he's going to forget you even exist. We're having a great time. He hasn't done anything wrong. All right, he just kidnapped you from the hospital. Breaking out was my idea. You never would have come up with that idea if you hadn't been hanging out with JR. It's his bad influence that's rubbing off on you. OK, can we just, can we just give us a minute? Sure. I'll be at the bar. <laughs> oh, now there's a shocker. Okay, you need to back off. I can't. It's not optional. Marissa, you are lying on an operating table with a bullet in your chest. JR is right. I did freeze in the operating room. Just the thought of losing you just... I made it, David. You don't have to worry. That gunshot may not have destroyed your heart, but JR certainly will. And I can't just stand by and watch that happen. You need to stop treating me like a fragile little girl. I've been out in the world, protecting myself from all kinds of men. I'm sure you have, but JR Chandler is different. Maybe, but I want to give him a chance. Babe already gave him a chance. She gave him a million chances, and look how that turned out. For the last time, I'm not Babe. I'm very well aware of that, okay? But JR is still JR. He's reckless, he's destructive, he's deadly. I'm not gonna lose another daughter to that bastard. Well, that's exactly what's gonna happen if you don't stop interfering. Marissa, please, no ultimatums. I wanna be in your life. I want that too, but... There have to be guidelines. I make my own decisions, and you need to trust that I can make good ones. Being with JR feels right, and I want to see where it goes. <laughs> okay, all right. At least meet me halfway. Meaning? I will release you from the hospital if you come back to Wild One with me, just for a few days, at least until I can see that you're okay. Do you have an aspirin? She got a headache? Maybe you should lay off the vodka. No, actually, I think I'm just gonna go home and go to sleep. You wanna lift? No, I'm gonna call a cab. 
But there is something that you can do for me, Scott. Have dessert with Marissa. She's dying for a chocolate sundae. I don't understand men. Look, all you had to do was tell Ryan the real reason for the loan, you wouldn't have gotten a busted lip. It's all right. Close my door. <laughs> Look, you are doing it to get uh, access to Annie, to prove that she actually killed Stuart. Ryan wants the same thing. Why don't you guys work together for work a greater together. good? I worked with Erica, Ryan, Aiden. It didn't work. You know what? Bottom line is, I don't play well with others. It's too complicated, too many people. So Annie has managed to elude Oak Haven security, police, FBI, and Interpol. But you alone, you're going to get a confession yeah, out of her. Yeah, that's the plan. And Ryan? What about him? You're just going to let him suffer, thinking that he might actually lose his daughter? I don't really care what Ryan thinks. But if he's smart, it's going to stay out of my way. I uh, talked to Robbie, mm -hmm. uh, Judge Robinson. Called in a few favors. You're not going to have to do anything this afternoon except sit around and collect that uh, fat retainer I pay you. If only I could handle all my cases on the back nine. <laughs> oh, there she comes. Well, we're not going to a funeral, sweetheart. Uh, in a few hours, we'll be celebrating. I don't know that. Look at the things I've done over the past few months, the escape attempts, the arrests. What if the judge finds me incompetent yeah, and sends me back to Oak Haven? You have nothing to worry about. Will you wait for me? Will you ride it out while your crazy fiance rots in a way in a padded cell? I can't go back there, Adam. Please, you can't let them send me back there. The judge will declare you fit. Barry will push for the earliest possible trial date. And we will get out of here before you know it. Okay? You're going to make a beautiful bride. Ready to go? 